Hello, I'm Luke Wilson, and this is Targeting Truth. Today, we are targeting truth and refuting lies. A few days ago, on February 2nd, 2012, President Obama made some pointed remarks at the National Prayer Breakfast. He twisted numerous biblical passages to promote his socialist agenda, and there are two that I wish to challenge. The first is love your neighbor as yourself, and the second is when Jesus said, to whom much is given, much shall be required. President Obama misapplied these scriptural passages to justify raising taxes. Now, there's no doubt that the scripture speaks of personal responsibility for the poor, but this is exactly that. It's a personal responsibility where God is the judge, and we will each individually give an account to him. But there's some questions that came up in my mind from Mr. Obama's statements. The Bible does say that you should love your neighbor as yourself. But what is love of my neighbor? Is it demonstrated by stealing from my other neighbors to give to one in need? Or is it a command to help my neighbor from my personal possessions and my labors? If Obama is interested in helping the poor, no one's stopping him from giving him of his own possessions. To take from one group of American citizens to give to another group of American citizens is just a fancy form of stealing, what Frederick Bastier called legalized plunder. Now, Jesus did say in Luke 12, verse 48, from everyone who has been given much, much shall be required. But Jesus is not talking about raising taxes here. Read the context. President Obama is trying to place government in the position of God. Who has given? Government or God? God is the one who gives. Who will require? Government or God? Is Obama the lawgiver and judge? Or is a righteous God the lawgiver and judge? God is the one who requires and to whom each one of us will give an answer. The plan for a graduated income tax doesn't come from the Bible, nor from the original Constitution, but rather it's a plank of the Communist Manifesto the strategy for takeover of free nations. Proverbs 11 verse 1 says that a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. The lie is that government has a Christian right to take from the rich and give to the poor. The truth is that God wants government to stay within the constraints that he has given, simply to protect our God-given rights. It's been well said that government, like fire, is a dangerous servant or a fearful master. Let's relegate government from its increasing position as master and chain it back down as a servant under the Constitution. I'm Luke Wilson, and this has been Targeting Truth.